At the WESIS Plus 10 High Level event in Geneva, we're enjoying the opportunity to speak to government representatives from around the world. And uh, here we have Macedonia's representative, uh, Mr. Ivo Ivanovsky, who's the Minister of Information Society and Administration. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Macedonia, um, maybe not many people know that you have a very ambitious ICT program. Can you give us some of the, uh, the highlights? Yes, uh, we've had an um, ambition program since 2006 when we started the information revolution for the citizens of Macedonia. But for the next uh, four years, we have set some high goals for us to reach, which uh, we believe they are very reasonable and achievable. By 2018, we hope that 80% uh, of our citizens will have a um, coverage of a broadband internet of 100 megahertz. Uh, I'm sorry, 100 megabits per second. And 90% uh, of the households uh, should use broadband by 2018. We also have set goals to minimize the roaming charges of uh, citizens of Macedonia. Since we are candidate states of EU, but we are not part of EU, we believe that we should have the same treatment as the EU citizens, since we are part of the single market of European Union. We plan that 33% um, of the small and uh, medium-sized enterprises can sell products by 2018, since uh, e-commerce is becoming more trendy in Macedonia. And we hope to continue developing e-services, which are more sophisticated, where the citizens, they don't have to come to the counters of uh, the government entities, of government institutions. Well, from what you're saying, it sounds like you're, you're planning to be, or maybe you are already ahead of many other European countries when it comes to ICT. Well, I believe so. We, last year, we did the analog to digital switch off on the TV overnight, which was in uh, June of 2013. And since then, we were able to auction the 800 megahertz of spectrum to the three mobile operators which uh, operate in Macedonia. All three got a 4G license, affordable 4G license, where we wanted, we wanted them to invest more in CapEx versus uh, getting a high fee from the government in our budget. And uh, one 4G operator is already operating and uh, we expect the other two to start operating by beginning of quarter four of uh, this year. So we think that uh, broadband connectivity in Macedonia is very strong. We have uh, around 67% of our citizens they use uh, internet at home. More than a half of them use broadband. Close to 100% of the small and medium enterprises use internet daily. We have every single school connected on the internet with the broadband connectivity and we continue to invest in uh, every sector of the society by introducing the latest and greatest technology of ICT. And you said your information revolution began in 2006, so the year after the WESIS Tunis declaration. So you've been involved with WESIS uh, from almost the beginning. How important has it been for you to be involved in uh, this uh, multilateral, multi-stakeholder process? Well, it's uh, always important to have someone uh, to share your pain. It's uh, always uh, nice when you hear what others are doing and uh, what they can help you to achieve that goal without doing the mistakes that others, others have done. The WISIS um, has been a wonderful platform for exchanging these ideas, sharing ideas, sharing initiatives where we can support each other in uh, helping our citizens. The goal is um, every citizen around the world to be online connected to have the same uh, equal rights as the citizens of the developed world, developed countries. For me personally, it has been um, very much uh, helpful to attend these uh, WISIS forums and for the Republic of Macedonia in order to create the next platform, to create the next strategy, to see where the rest of the country are headed in the directions of uh, growing information communication technologies. Minister, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for your invitation.